Hey everyone, today we're gonna set up some solar panels on the cargo trailer roof. The roof's a little bit different because it has a curve to it, so make sure to stay tuned and see how we put it together. So here we are on our curved roof. And we're gonna clean the surface with mineral spirits. And then we have 3M tape. VH, VHB tape everyone's recommending and then we'll be putting Eternum on over top and we've also put together a wind deflector for the front here. This is a 200 watt solar panel. So we propped up the solar panel and we are cleaning it with mineral spirits. You can see we clean the first spot, the middle one, and the one at the end. And then we will stick them on with the BHB tape and we'll move to the other side, do the same, and then after that's done we'll put the Eternabon on. Okay, so we're just going to do our first corner. Everything's been cleaned. Remove the backing on the VHB tape. one done with the VHB tape and now we'll move down to the next one. You be very careful when you're setting this. Are we ready right there? Yep. Uh, yep. There we go. There's the corner set. And now we do the middle. We're going to do the middle. Good, there you go. Can you hold it? And there's the middle done. So now we have one side done. And we will repeat the same process on the other side. <laughs> surface prep is very important. You want to make sure you have a really clean surface for the VHB tape and the Eternabond to stick to. So we got our six corners done, all with the VHB, sorry, four corners, two sides, VHB, and next we're going to use the Eternabon. We also have our front flashing to direct air up and over. So next up, Eternabond. Okay, so right now we're Eternaboning. And just remember, when this stuff goes down, it does not come up. So you really want to work it into all the seams. And push it into all the creases. And so we're doing the fronts and doing the sides. And we're going to do small pieces on the inside. I haven't seen anybody else do that. And just for extra precaution, uh, we're just going to make sure we put as much as we can on it. So we got the two sides. Get that out of there. So we got the two sides. Now we're going to do one little piece here and one little piece here. And that'll be it for this corner. So this one's done. You can see a piece here, a piece here. And we've also added a piece over here and a piece on this side 
just for extra precaution. And even when we mount the panel and we're all done, we're gonna drill a hole here and we're gonna have a safety line run over the side. There's already a screw there and we'll attach it there just for safety. Okay, you can see we got our three done on this side with e turnabon on the outside and then two pieces on the inside, one on the outside, two on the inside, two on the outside, two on the inside. So now we can put our solar panel back into the mounts. fit so we got to drill all our holes and once we're done drilling our holes then we put our wind deflector here on the front the wires are going to go out the side and down the wall and I'll show you that when we get there now that everything's set up we're going to install our stainless steel screws two in each all the way around and then we'll be able to put on our wind deflector on the front Okay, now we clean this. When we cleaned our uh, wind deflector, it's gonna sit right like that. Just don't want any wind getting underneath the front of the panel. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put, tape the front of it here. Just hold it up. Yep. And... Okay. So there is our wind deflect. So as we're driving down the highway, air will hit here and go over rather than going underneath and trying to pick up the panel. And you don't need to attach it at the top. Uh, we just attached it with turnabon at the bottom. Uh, it's really not doing anything. And uh, you don't need anything up here because wind just will go over it. Nothing can actually pull it away from the trailer. I forgot to press the record button, uh, but these are the wires coming off the panel that are going to run down the side wall over to our solar controller. So here's the panel, all screwed to the brackets. We're going to call it a night, and tomorrow we will start the wiring down to the solar charge controller and to the batteries. Catch you tomorrow. Hey everyone, welcome back to day two. Today we're going to be putting in the solar charge controller, uh, which is uh, eco-worthy. We got the eco-worthy kit, so we got the charge controller. We're going to wire this in. Uh, we finished wiring the solar panels. We've e turned them on the wires down the side of the trailer and underneath and into the front uh, cavity here, and we're going to wire everything up. So I will show you what I've done. So yesterday you saw us do the panels. Today we've ran the wires all the way down with black Eternabond. They go underneath the trailer, underneath over here, and into our battery compartment. And there's our negative, there's our positive. We're going to mount the charge controller against the wall back here, and then right from the charge controller, go right to our battery. Okay, now with everything cut, our two ends crimped and uh, heated. That way the shrink goes around the wire. The heat shrink on this solar power controller tells you which one's positive, which one's negative, and if it comes from the solar panel, the battery, or a light bulb. And I might hook up a light to this for in this cabinet, but we'll see, I'm not sure yet. So all you do is open up the tab, loosen off your screws,
pulled off all that VHB tape. So our charge controller's in. I know you can't see, but it says 12.7. And we're connected to the batteries and charging. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video of me installing my solar panel, my 200 watt solar panel, eco-worthy on my cargo trailer curved roof. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and I'll catch you on the next video.